Okay, so this is what happened. The day before, so February 2nd, Russ invited me to go to breakfast at the dining hall. So that morning, we met at the dining hall and ate some good food. And then I was expecting to go do homework afterwards forever. And he had some other plans. Go get some from a store. And I was like, um, okay. He has another one of those plans cocked up that I don't know what's going on. And I won't find out until then. So I just went along with it. So anyway... <clears throat> We went to Fred Meyer, and uh, there we bought two notebooks, and uh, that was all. And we just left, and she had this weird look on her face, but um, it was okay. We just uh, we just went with it, and I bought the two notebooks, and we left. Then we went back to campus, and uh, we got to campus. Then after, um, we went to this place called the Sea Home Arbor, and it kind of overlooks. Um, it, it's like uh, behind Western's campus is this huge hill and on the top there's this big uh, big tower that you can climb up in and you can see Bellingham Bay and uh, also a lot of the city of Bellingham and so we went up in the we, we went up there to go up into the tower we went up there because that's where we started dating officially this is true, and I was thinking, wow, what a great place, you know, to do all this if it was the first place where we started dating, you know. So we got up there, and there's some people, I don't know, maybe doing drugs or maybe doing some other stuff like that, but it didn't look too inviting, so we just continued walking. And we got to this other place where there is, like, this huge rock um, face thing, and, like, they had carved it out so that a road could go through. So we went up on top of that. And uh, we started playing this little game. And the game was a game that Russ made up. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> Where you had to draw pictures according to category, and you kind of voted to see who won. And of course, I won most of the categories, because my vote counts more. And <laughs> <laughs> so the first category was draw a picture of something that would make the other person smile. And I drew a picture of him saying sweet nothings to me on top or from below a big toy because the night before we had gone out and played on all these big toys at playgrounds and then he, I forget what you draw I drew something funny <laughs> that's what you drew yeah that wasn't, you, a, that wasn't what you drew yeah it was and then you had a or, and then like you had a bubble coming out of your mouth and it said BS, BS, BS. That's what you drew. I, that's what I said. That's what I drew. Okay. I don't remember what you drew. I don't even remember. Um, he doesn't remember. I drew something that was hilarious because I won. So I won that one. <clears throat> that's whatever. why I remember it. Is, you're so, whatever. <laughs> then, you, just, you just don't want to admit the truth. It's okay. I, really, I understand. <laughs> so then the next picture or category we were supposed to draw was uh, something that would make the other person scared. He drew darkness because I'm scared of the dark. Yes. Thank you. And I drew a floating head because I had no idea what to draw. Because <laughs> he had been thinking about these categories all day. And it was fun to draw darkness because I just kind of scribbled on the page. <laughs> that was kind of fun. It brought memories back from the second grade. <laughs> so the next category was something that was beautiful to the other person. So we drew for that one. And I drew us and he drew... What did you draw? Myself. <laughs> That's right, because he is beautiful to me. And then um, I was tired of him choosing all these categories that he had been thinking about all day and the day before. And so I was like, it's my turn to choose a category. So I said, draw a picture that um, is our most romantic moment. So I was totally like, oh, yeah, I'm totally going to win, talking to a lot of smack, drawing these pictures. I even drew two pictures because I had so many ideas and how I would beat him in this category. So then he was drawing away, and he was like, oh, yeah, I'm totally going to win. So anyway, um, I was watching her draw, and I was just calmly watching her talk a lot of smack and uh, say how she was going to beat me. But it's okay. I knew I was going to win. So all I did was, and actually I was going to work into this myself, but um, I was just kind of going to, I was kind of going to go along with whatever she said, and then I was going to work into it later. But she did it just fine on her own. Um, she, you know, she gave that topic, and all I did was, uh, um, all I wrote was, right now, um, turn to next page, and on the next page, will, will you marry me? And uh, so then after that, we went to go compare them again. Normally, I was the one who showed them first, but um, this time, I said, you show yours first. So I saw hers, and they were pretty good. 
but then she saw mine and I turned the page and it said, will you marry me? I kind of freaked out. I was like, what? I was totally expecting like at least having to wait till Valentine's Day because my roommate, Kimberly Bascom, told me like for weeks that, oh, he's going to propose to you on Valentine's Day, la la la. So I was like, okay, at least I don't have to worry about it till then. And then it came about and I was just completely surprised. So I said, are you kidding? And he kind of looked a little scared. <laughs> what were you thinking? I said, maybe. <laughs> He's like, I don't know, maybe. <laughs> and I was like, of course I'll marry you. And then, and then I pulled out the ring and I, um, and I showed it to her. And she thought it was beautiful. And she said, well, aren't you going to put it on me now? <laughs> and so I did. <laughs> and uh, then we walked down the hill. And uh, um, we were laughing and joking. And it was good. It was a good day. And that's it.